Hello people, this video it will be on the effects of taxation, the impact and the incidence. Uh, before we move into this, there is a need to differentiate between impact and incidence of a tax. What is meant by impact and what is meant by incidence of a tax? Impact refers to the fall on the person on which the tax is first levied. Incidence of tax refers to who ultimately pays for the tax. For example, if government today they decide to, de to levy or to impose a $3 tax on secrets, does it mean that in the market price or rather the, pr the selling price of the secrets will increase by $3, which means to say that the consumer will pay fully for the amount of tax? Um, is this true? This is referring to the incidence of tax, whereby we are looking at the eventual distribution of the tax burden, the amount of $3 that is imposed by the government. And the impact of this case will be on the producer themselves first. So, uh, to give you a more diagram or graphical illustration, let us look at this. Government levies a tax on producer. So, the impact of tax is actually on the producer because it will be the first group of person whereby the tax is first levy. Then they will ultimately pass it to the pro consumers. So incidence of tax refers to on the consumers itself or rather with the amount of tax imposed. So incidence of tax refers to out of the amount of tax that is imposed by the government, how much will be paid by the consumer? and how much will be paid by the producers. Therefore, we will be looking at what is meant by incident of tax here. Shall we look at this diagram? Prices, quantity of a product, my supply curve, outward sloping, downward curve, demand, uh, downward demand curve, equilibrium point at price P0, and the quantity produced Q0. So when the government imposes a tax, the supply curve will shift up the supply curve will shift up by the amount of tax imposed. So the red color supply curve, it is the new supply curve with the amount of tax imposed. And how do you illustrate tax on the diagram? The vertical re distance between the black color supply line and the red color supply line will be the amount, the specific tax imposed. To be more exact, it will be the specific indirect tax imposed. This is why it is a shift of the supply curve. Next thing, therefore the new equilibrium is actually at price at E1, which the product will be priced at P1. So which means to say that after the tax is imposed, the product will be priced at a higher, le higher price level, which is price P1 the price increases from P0 to P1. And the quantity produced or being consumed in the market decreases from Q0 to Q1. So there is a decrease in the equilibrium quantity. And P1 will be the price that is paid by the consumer. So for the consumer to purchase the product, they will pay at price P1. Then this yellow color here, the whole area is actually the tax revenue generated for the government. So it is the total tax revenue, which is calculated by the vertical distance and the amount of the product that is being sold in the market. And P2, P2 will be the price or the amount that is being received by the seller. Let me repeat myself again. The vertical distance is the amount of specific tax that is being imposed. Therefore, at price P1, it is the price that the consumer will buy and purchase the product for. And at price P2, it will be the amount of um, money that is received by the producer. And the yellow, distance, uh, yellow area is the total tax revenue. Consumer will pay this amount of tax because initially it is at price P0. So the difference between the price that is being paid by them is P0, P1. And this turquoise or green color area will be the amount of tax that is being paid by the consumer.
On the other hand, initially, the producer, they are able to fetch a price of the product at a price P0. But right now, with the imposition of tax, they receive the money at price P2. Therefore, this area here will be the amount of tax that pay by the producer. So who actually bear a heavier burden of taxation? For this case, it will be equal. By looking at the diagram, the vertical distance between P2 to P0 and P0 to P1 is almost the same. So it is almost the same as the amount of a burden of taxation for the consumer and producer. However, for a more accurate illustration on the burden of taxation, we will need to look at the relative price elasticity of demand and supply. It will indicate the incidence of tax. To be more general first, the supply, given the supply of uh, the elasticity of supply, the more price inelastic the demand is, the greater the burden of tax on the buyer. So given two demand curve, a more elastic and inelastic demand curve, when the buyers are less responsive to buy price changes, which refers to the demand is more price inelastic, the, they will actually take a greater burden of tax. On the other hand, given a price elasticity of demand, the more price inelastic the supply is, the greater the burden of tax on the sellers. So therefore, in general, the party that is more responsive to price changes will bear a lower burden of tax. So the party who is less responsive to price changes will bear a greater burden of tax. So shall we look at this diagram? Given the supply, uh, elasticity of supply, which is, a, which is similar for both curves, the more price inelastic a demand is, the greater the burden of tax on the buyers. So shall we prove this? So on the diagram that is on our left, it is a more elastic demand curve. And on the diagram on the right, it is a more inelastic demand curve. Let's say the tax imposed for the two market is the same. Therefore, the supply curve will shift up by the amount of tax imposed. So the vertical distance is the same. But you will realize that for the diagram on the left, the price, the increase in the price is from P0 to P1 is smaller than the increase of the price from P on the right hand side, given the new equilibrium point. P2 will be the price or rather the amount that it the consume the producer will receive. So consumer incidence of tax per unit is indicated by the vertical distance P0, P1. Producer incidence of tax per unit is indicated by the distance P2, P0. And therefore in this diagram you will realize that for an inelastic demand curve, which is Looking at the diagram on the right, the consumer will bear a greater burden of tax. Likewise, shall we look at the next case? Given that the demand, the price elasticity of demand is the same for two diagrams, the more price inelastic the supply curve is, the greater the burden of tax on the seller. So the supply curve here is different. On the left, it is a more elastic supply curve. On the right, it is a more inelastic supply curve. So both supply curve will shift up but vertically by the equal amount of tax imposed. And, and, and as you can see, from the diagram on the left, the new price level is at P1. Yes, for both diagram. And the selling, or rather, the price that is received by the producer will be at price P2. And shall I look at the same thing? Incidence of tax on the consumer, it will be P1, P0, P1. On the other hand, producer incidence of tax per unit, it will be P0, P2, P0. And 
and on the diagram itself, the more price in elastic, which is looking at the diagram on the right, the greater the burden of tax on the seller, which is indicated by a greater distance or the difference between P2 and P0 on the diagram on the right as compared to the diagram on the left. So uh, that's all for the impact and incidence of indirect taxes on consumer and producer. In the tutorial, we'll cover through using case study like tobacco and cars in the market. Thank you.